Oh man, the neighbor kid just totally ate it. That kid just ate it. He's just running backwards down the sidewalk and fucking ate shit. It was awesome. Rolling out, we are kind of a lot less organized than I was when I got here. Our shit's kind of all over the map. Breakfast? So Stop. Oh, okay. All of it. 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 All of <laughs> you got a little bit of the camp hangover? I got a Colorado omelet, egg whites, and an extra chicken breast. Figure I've been a piece of shit all weekend, kinda. Time to dial her back in today. Definitely a window of getting into IHOP on a Sunday that's sweet before the churchers get in. And this place is packed tighter than Jack Dick's hat band. I just I hopped her to death. She hammered the chicken fried steak. Let's go home. FYI, new colorway for the Dirty South shirts. Pretty stoked, those will be up very soon. Probably by the time you see this. Back home, my garage is an absolute disaster. So, this is getting fixed today. That corner, better toolbox. Those are leaving, they're not mine. All the above, just need some love. So, it's Sunday. Just got back from camping. Beautiful wife is unpacking some stuff. And about to go get the dogs. I'm basically gonna live in the garage all day. Thumbs up. So I would normally shoot some big exorbitant time lapse of doing this, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna get to work. I'll probably put some update. Can't get the toolbox I want. Just uh, not gonna fit in the old garage. Wow. But I do need some shelves. And those are kind of shitty, right? Those seem way more heavy duty. Hmm. Shelving. That's the only trip I'll make to Home Depot today to finish this. It'll be a fucking record. I have a tendency to do any type of storage DIY. Basically anything goes uh, for multiple trips because I'm really bad at all this. So we're gonna give it hell, right? First things first. This nightmare's gotta go. So right well maybe it'll work better progress Highland games box uh loose gear bag sheaf 
bicycle stuff, sups, long-term storage. Shit I don't use very often. So that's how it's done. Not stoked on this part. So this is the disaster of a tool area that I'm finally gonna clean. I mean, I don't know what goes in there. Stuff, everything else, barely organized, not really. That's just full of bullshit. So, try to put stuff in its place so it can stay organized for about 15 minutes is probably the truth of it. Building a new toolbox. Why, why do these have chrome rims? It's just unnecessary, it could just be steel and work forever. But who am I, right? I kind of smell bad. A little bit more progress. So now some more finagling to get to the rest. That's looking better. That's some major progress. Still got a bunch of trash and those will be gone. Um, yeah, so back to living that clean garage life. So in the process of uh, cleaning this garage out, I'm sure through a couple pictures and a couple things, you've seen I got some new toys. I'm gonna unbox one of them and talk about them a little bit. Apparently slicing a bunch of cardboard is not great for the knife blade. Could be literally the worst thing. Packaged for abuse. Luckily, I don't think you can break these bastards. These are the current controversial center mass bells. These are center mass bells. These are Sornex making these. And they are double sided, I, small garage. I don't really want dumbbells. Um, that and I honestly believe these are a better design. And I'm sure you're gonna see a lot more of uh, exercises and warm ups and me actually using these. So, simple run around on these. Because these are made of ductile steel, they're not gonna break. They're not that crappy poured gray steel or cast iron like used in some shitty kettlebells and that's why you see handles snap off. These are going in. So you can see, you could do some slams, be able to do some throwing with it. And uh, I'm gonna take these out in the field. So I'm gonna end up taking these out in the field and playing with them quite a bit in the next couple months. And I got the big boy, the 70. So, pretty cool, and I uh, look forward to playing with these. So, that's the unboxing, that's what they look like. The strength of these is really gnarly. I know for sure I can drop them on the concrete and the concrete will break. I'm not gonna demonstrate that because my concrete's not looking to break it. So, look forward to more of that.